Hi everybody, I'm Johnny Bowden, and instead of giving you all my credentials, which you can read below and which I think is a big exercise in narcissism, I'd rather tell you a little bit about me, my journey, how I got here, and why I chose these three subjects for my classes. So I did not start out as a health professional. It's a second career for me. I was actually a musician, and I came from the era of sex, drugs, and rock and roll in Woodstock, and if you saw me back in the 70s, you would think that today I would look like Keith Richards. I was addicted to every drug you can imagine. I was addicted to alcohol. I smoked cigarettes. I thought that a healthy breakfast was a cigarette and coffee around 11 o'clock in the morning. And I had a successful career as a musician. I played with a lot of famous people. I did a lot of Broadway shows, a lot of road tours. And I was on one of those tours at one point, and you get very bored when you do that, and there's not a lot to do during the day. And one day, just out of sheer boredom, I turned to one of the actors, Michael, and I said, hey, show me how to do some of this stuff, these bicep curls and all that. So they took me to the gym, and to make a long story short, it led to a lifelong fascination with health, fitness, and more importantly, with transformation. Because really, at the bottom of all of it, even though I started out as a weight loss coach, a lot of my colleagues started out just handling weight loss, the fact is, all of us learned very quickly that it's really all about your life. And even when you wanna lose weight, there's a reason for it, and it's usually to have a better and happier and fuller life. And that's what we're all interested in. So, long story short, I become bitten with the bug, I become a personal trainer, and I get a job at Equinox. And that was my first job in health and fitness. It was my transition from a professional musician to becoming a health and fitness professional. And I rose in the ranks at Equinox to become the dean of the Equinox Fitness Training Institute. And here's a couple of things that I learned there. Number one, we had been misled about low fat diets. That's number one. Uh, number two, we had been misled about cholesterol. Because when you think about it, the connection there is very simple. All my clients weren't eating saturated fat and animal products because they were told that it raised their cholesterol and cholesterol was going to cause heart disease. Well, if that's not true, and it's not, then all of the dietary prescriptions we've been given for the past 30 or 40 years kind of fall like a house of dominoes. So I was very interested in alternative ways of eating that would produce the results we thought low-fat diets were going to produce. And that led to one of my best-selling books, Living Low Carb, which is going into its fourth edition in 2020. So I've been studying, reading, practicing, and talking about low carb diets for a very long time, and that was a natural choice for me for one of the courses. The second one was the great cholesterol myth. And as I said, one of the reasons I got interested in cholesterol was because I realized that was at the heart of dietary recommendations that were not working. So in the great cholesterol myth, we take that myth apart. We talk about what really causes and promotes heart disease and what we can actually do to prevent it besides just paying attention to a test that's fairly obsolete. And the third subject, the one that's close to my heart, is aging. And there's a lot of myths about aging. You know, my, my tagline is the nutrition mythbuster because I love talking truth to power and blowing apart some of the myths we've all lived with about health and nutrition. And one of those myths has to do with aging and how we age. And there's a lot of myths about how we age. Now, I'm going to be 73 on my next birthday. I'm living a pretty great life, I think. I think most of my productivity, my best year financially, relationship-wise, has been the last decade. And that's not usually when people have their best decade. So I have a lot to say about aging and about having a life that actually leads to complete fulfillment and engagement and excitement, and that that is not limited by the number of years you've been on the planet. And I would like to pass that stuff on to you. Not that you can have the same life as me, maybe you don't want the same life as me, but so that you can have more options and not be limited by your thoughts about what aging has to look like. Those are my three subjects. I hope you'll join me. And this is Johnny Bowden wishing you the best of health.